Number 78, letter A. Find the size of the smallest detail observable in human tissue uh, with 20 megahertz ultrasound. All right, so you have to remember that the smallest detail observable will be equal to the wavelength. All right, so basically letter A, we can restate it. What's the wavelength of the ultrasound? All right, so we have to know the velocity of ultrasound through human tissue. So on average, you could do about 1500, 1540, something like that. I think the book might use 1540 meters per second. And they tell us the frequency now is about 20 megahertz. But you know megahertz is times 10 to the 6th, right? So it's really 20 times 10 to the 6th hertz. Now all I got to do is to find the wavelength here. Just simply use that the velocity is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. The wavelength then would simply be equal to the velocity divided by the frequency. And the wavelength here, we're going to have 1540 all over 20 times 10 to the 6th. And what do we get here for the wavelength? So 1540 over 20 times 10 to the 6th. And it's about 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus 5. 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. Right? You can convert that into, if you wanted, you can find out the micrometers. Doesn't matter. All right, but that would be the value. So letter B, it says, is, what do we got? Is its effective penetration depth great enough to examine the entire eye, which is about that, right, three centimeters. So you have to remember that the max depth here, in general rule of thumb, is going to be max, sorry, max depth is going to be uh, 500 multiplied then by the wavelength, okay? So we get 500 multiplied now by this value of 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus fifth. And what do we get? We get a value of about 0 0.385, 0 0.385, and that's in terms of meters. Converting that into centimeters, right, that would be about 3.85 centimeters. That's the max depth. If the depth of the eye is about three, then it sounds to me like, yes, it would be effective. All right, and now letter C. What is the wavelength of such ultrasound in zero degrees Celsius air? So what we have to do now is we realize that we have to find now the uh, the velocity first, okay, by knowing the temperature. So we have that formula that the velocity of the of the sound, right, this ultrasound. So this is simply going to be is going to be equal to 331 multiplied by the square root of the Kelvin temperature. Now it's zero degrees Celsius air, so it's zero plus then 273 all divided by 273, right? So the velocity now is simply going to be, velocity of the wave is going to be, this is literally just gonna work out to one, right? So it's 331 meters per second, okay? Now it says, what's the wavelength? So the frequency of the wave stays the same. It doesn't matter what medium it travels through. So the frequency is still gonna be 20 megahertz or AKA 20 times 10 to the six hertz. And now I can just use the formula Again, wavelength is going to be equal to velocity over frequency. It's 331 all over then 20 times 10 to the sixth. And the wavelength here will be 331 divided by 20 times 10 to the sixth, 1.66 or so, 1.66 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that's in terms of meters. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you soon.